subscribe it's the Queen's official birthday on April 21st and while she's our longest reigning monarch there's plenty of things you don't actually know about her. She served in world wars, celebrated huge milestones, traveled the world and seen her family grow welcoming many grandchildren to the royal fold. But while the head of the Commonwealth has remained in the public eye she has given very little away about her private life, so here's 11 interesting things to note about our corgi-loving queen. Served in WWI Elizabeth II was 19 when she joined the Women's Auxiliary Territorial Service in 1945 during World War II and was made an Honorary Second Subaltern in the Auxiliary Territorial Service, training as a mechanic and a truck driver. Her active service makes her the only current head of state to have served in WWII. Why the Queen signs her name Elizabeth R. The Queen always signs her name officially as Elizabeth R. The R stands for Regina, which in Latin means Queen. It is a tradition going back centuries as it designates the authority of the Sovereign. Related Articles Related Articles doesn't have a passport or driver's license while we often see the queen driving herself to church or making state visits around the world she can do so without a passport or driver's license her majesty is exempt from holding any documentation because all passports and driver's licenses are issued in her name she doesn't need either and doesn't own them met prince philip when she was eight and our third cousins the queen first met her husband of 73 years when she was just eight Years old in 1934 at the wedding of Princess Marina of Greece and Prince George, Duke of Kent that their families both attended. According to reports from her teenage years she was besotted and never met another man until she eventually married Philip. Her husband also happens to be her third cousin as she and Prince Philip both share Queen Victoria as their great-great-grandmother, through his maternal side, and Queen Elizabeth through her paternal side. Hates garlic According to former royal chef Darren McGrady the queen hated garlicky food and preferred not to have too much onion. During an appearance on MasterChef Australia Camilla confirmed that garlic is a no-no for royals because they don't want to have smelly breath for meeting and greeting guests. Special nicknames Elizabeth II used to call herself Tillabit when she was younger which evolved into personal nickname Lilibet which she uses with close family. It's believed the Duke of Edinburgh calls his wife Cabbage, the nickname featured in 2006 film The Queen, and according to the film screenwriter Peter Morgan he had it on very good authority that's what he has called her. Her Majesty is also called Gan Gan by her grandchildren, which Kate Middleton revealed Prince George calls his grandmother in the BBC TV special interview a few years ago. Speaks fluent French The Queen makes every effort to speak in the language of the country she visits and is fluent in French, even making a 2014 state banquet speech in the language. It is a skill which has stood the Queen in good stead, as she often has cause to use it when speaking to ambassadors and heads of state from French-speaking countries, and when visiting French-speaking areas of Canada, it reads on the Royal Family website celebrates two birthdays. The Queen has her official birthday on April 21st, the day she was born in 1926. She also celebrates a when the weather is nicer. Her Majesty has celebrated two birthdays every year over the 65 years she has reigned, and the reason is all down to family tradition and the public. King George, who was born in November, thought the British weather was too cold for the public to celebrate his birthday at that time of the year. Therefore, the former monarch decided to combine his birthday celebration with an event called the Trooping of the Colour, which the whole royal family attend. Every year in June, meaning a more promising outlook on good weather. Since her reign, Prince William and Prince Harry's grandmother has continued with this tradition, taking her real birthday in April to celebrate in private with her family owns all swans, dolphins and whales in British waters the Queen technically owns all swans, dolphins and whales in the United Kingdom because according to Raiders died just as early as the 12th century the Crown claimed ownership of all mute swans in the country because the birds were highly valued as a delicacy at banquets and feasts.
and a statute from 1324 that is still valid today reads that whales and dolphins are counted as fishes royal. Read more The Royal Family The Queen has a signature style when it comes to making state visits and appearances at royal events. Bright colors, a hat, low-heeled shoes, and of course a handbag. The monarch is never seen without her signature tote from British brand Lawner and has been wearing this since 1968. But they serve a more complicated purpose than completing her outfit. Her Majesty uses her bags to signal to her staff, if it's placed on the table it means she wishes to leave within five minutes. If it is placed on the floor she wishes to leave a conversation she is not enjoying, if she switches it from different arms it means a guest is taking too long. The Queen only ever has money inside her purse on a Sunday, where she keeps a £5 or £10 note to donate to her church. Longest reigning British monarch in history The Queen became the longest regining monarch in our history surpassing her great-great-grandmother Queen Victoria who was the last monarch to celebrate the Diamond Jubilee. The Queen celebrated her Sapphire Jubilee on February 6, 2017 and to mark 65 years on the throne there were new coins, a new stamp, and a re-released portrait taken by British photographer David Bailey.